Hills, this is Arami here, and welcome back to To the Edge of the Sky. We're here in a club. Again. Well, last time it was in a simulation thing, but we're in a club now, so it's cool. <laughs> About half an hour ago, I got another call with the location of the meeting. It was a tight timeline, which is probably the point, but somehow we made it in made it to the lounge. I feel my stomach twisting with nerves, the thought of finally seeing my brother after years. Not to mention the fact that we're on opposing sides. To say that, I feel tense might be the understatement of the century. I feel like a lovely mix of tension, nerves, anticipation, and uncertainty. As we walk into the club, I look around while trying to appear as casual as possible. Nish and I did get to talk a bit, but that didn't exactly end well back then. I'm almost surprised that we don't attract any attention, but the patrons here all seem to care very little for someone they didn't know. So I can only imagine how it's gonna go this time. Some stares do linger, but only for the barest of moments before they all return to their own affairs. My eyes land on a pair sitting at one of the bar end tables. I feel my heart drop to my stomach when I see who it is. Nish. Nish does not look like me. I was expecting a guy with blue hair and I was gonna be like twinsies. But then again, it would make sense because now he's on the opposite team. So he's not gonna wanna look like us. <laughs> Damn it, brother. Why do you look so badass? Even though I was expecting it, actually seeing him for the first time in years still hits me like a punch to the gut. That's probably why I didn't, I thought I didn't see Nish's uh, character art. Because I assumed Nish was going to have blue hair like I did. Wow. Whoa, who's she? She looks like she's from Slytherin. <laughs> My eyes flick over to the woman next to him. Her eyes snap right to me as if she senses someone looking at her. She says something to Nish, who then turns to look my way too. Wow, wow, you're gonna frown, brother, after everything I've done for you? It makes me really dizzy that my brother still looks so much like himself. I don't know what I expected, but the feeling of familiarity I get at seeing him soothes me. It's as if I was afraid, af afraid that after joining Kairos, he wouldn't be him at all. I glance at four. So, that's your brother? Yeah, that's him, my twin. Or as I slide over to the woman next to Nish, the devil and company. Do you know her? Not personally, but I know who she is. Or narrows his eyes at her. Seeing as the spy mistress is here, we need to exercise extra caution. The spy mistress? He nods. Code name Tempress. So that's Tempress. I'll keep an eye on her while you two talk. If this is a trap after all, I'll be ready. Thanks for. Let's go. Walking up to the two's table, we slide into the seats of on opposite sides. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought four was just gonna like be on the corner somewhere in the club, not like with me. Or lounge, just as a lounge, not a club. I now sit face to face with my brother. Michiko, good to finally see you in person. Nish, I haven't seen you in so long. I glance at the woman next to my brother. She sits leaning back against her seat, her arms crossed in front of her as she watches us quietly. And Tempress, nice to meet you. Oh, I already know who I am. Tempress glances at Four, amusement dancing in her eyes. It seems like she realizes that it was Four who told me her name. The woman's voice sounds familiar, and it takes me only a second to put two and two together. You're the one who called me. Tempress chuckles and nods. Good ear. I'm almost tempted to call in Faze, but she already warned me against it. And honestly, I want to talk to my brother about all, all of this way more than I want Faze to swoop in. Besides, I'm not alone, and if Faze comes in, I might never see my brother again. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to my brother in person. Tempest looks at me curiously and only nods in response. I turn my attention back to the reason why I'm here. It's like fire and ice. <laughs> Nish, it's time to get some answers. Finally being in, it, being in front of him, I realize that I don't actually know where to start. It feels like I want to say everything and nothing at all at the same time. I'm sure you're wondering how or why I ended up where I am. Yes, I do. Nish strokes his chin and thought. It's real simple, to be honest. There was some shit with FaZe. You could say I got in trouble with them without meaning to and Timpy here dragged me out. She gave me a choice, stay and fight or leave. I think it's obvious what choice I made. Yes, very obvious. I glance at Tempress. She says she gave him a choice, but did she really? I look back to him with a frown. I want more details. This isn't a topic you can be vague on, Nish. Nish. I don't say Nish. What, prob what trouble with face? What the hell did you get up to after you left? You can't just expect me to believe you. After all that happened, 
not if you don't get wait what you just you can't just expect me to believe you after all that happened not if you don't give me anything i don't say it i don't want to provoke him but how am i supposed to know if he's not been brainwashed with some bullshit by these people he sighs i wasn't going to keep it from you but are you ready to hear about the real phase the real phase i feel defensive already it just sounds brainwashed I guess this would be my chance to turn back, but I want to know the truth. I spent years wondering what the hell happened to my brother, and there's no way I'm letting that chance slip by now. Yes, I want to know. Nish nods and leans back in his chair. Sit back and get comfortable, then. I suggest ordering drinks. Tempress cuts in, grabbing the tablet off of the side of the table. She orders something for herself be before passing the tablet around for everyone. Stand out a bit less now, hmm? Well, yeah, I guess, because we didn't have drinks on our table. Nish waits for everyone's drinks to arrive before he starts to talk, which only takes a moment. He subtly glances around us and I follow suit. As far as I can see, no one else, uh, no one is even paying attention to us. You'd think as highly operative, highly trained operatives, we would draw far more attention. But we're not the strangest looking people in the place. Hell, we almost blend right in. As I turn back to Nish, he starts to talk. It started right after we had our fight. I wanted to cool my head, so I thought a nice little visit to town would do me some good. I made it to the city's out outer walls, and that's where I ran into some trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Scavengers. Those assholes. They're hardly ever good to see. I don't know how they found me, but they surrounded me, and before I knew it, I had to try and fight my way out of that mess. I did what I could, but I was outnumbered. I feel my stomach twist into knots. I should have been there. If we hadn't had that stupid fight, I hate... I have been there. Given where he ended up, I can't imagine his story gets any better. Uh, I don't think we should say anything because he's telling us his story right now. So don't say anything. Now, when to break his flow, I decide to hold back any comments until later. Nish sighs. Even with that, what I can do, I was overwhelmed, and all I remember was everything going black. When I woke up, I was in a plain white room. After maybe an hour of me screaming, trying to kick the door down, someone showed up. That's when I found out I'd been sold off. What? Sold? FaZe likes to get all the promising people under its loving care. It doesn't matter how they get them as long as they do. My gaze turns to Four, who doesn't look like he's willing to comment on any of this. With what Four said about FaZe and Project Ang Angmar and himself, I just don't know. It seems more plausible that FaZe could do something like this. But Four said he signed up. Did he lie? I turned back to Nish. What then? They shipped me off to one of their facilities for testing immediately. Had potential to be great, they said. It's become something beyond human, beyond what we can even what we can get even with hogs. What? But that's what? Dangerous? Not possible? I not. All of the above. Hogs already make us something beyond human, and to go even beyond that is I can't imagine it. Nish takes some takes size and takes a long sip of his drink. Project Lucifer is one of the more deeply cover covert operations run by FaZe. It's highly classified, so most wouldn't know about it at all. I was locked up in their facility, forced to participate in this study of theirs. The project was created to study humans born with unusual abilities. FaZe wanted to know if it was possible for normal humans to, to develop these abilities. Nish snorts. More importantly, they want to know if they could enhance the abilities of those who already had them. If their operatives could be enhanced and turned into better weapons, then it's only better for FaZe, right? How can I even argue with that? With what Fora told about Ag Angmar, Agmar, I don't freaking know this name, <laughs> and everything else. I can't argue that they're not like this, but that they wouldn't play around with human lives like this. Nish continues on, in spite of my inner turmoil. I was one of the subjects with pre-existing abilities. They put me through countless tests and exper experiments that were all meant to permanently enhance my natural abilities. An uncomfortable pressure builds in, my chest, in the center of my chest. They were successful, and I was given the codename 15 to commemorate my time as subject 0015. 15? But that means you're in beta. I was. But I was also highly com combative, com combative, and disobedient. I probably still hold the record for how many times I had to be locked away for discipline issues. He smiles at that, but it just makes me feel sick. Nish actually seems proud of it, but all I can think of is the fact that FaZe will lock their operatives away like some criminals. 
but considering how strong their operatives are, I guess it makes sense that for their own safety, they may have to lock them away. Though it's not like Nish was there voluntarily. I know how some of my team got into phase, but this makes me worry that some of them might be keeping secrets like this. You said that Tempest got you out. How? I can probably answer that better. I turned to her with a little nod, silently urging her to continue. I broke into one of their facilities. Mind you, I was looking for something else entirely. I found what I was after and more. There were files upon files on subject 0015, or 15, if we're just gonna straight out say it. It was filled with endless pages about his potential and his behavior issues. He was troubled and becoming a problem, but 15 was too valuable to just give up on. Whatever issues they were having with him, they caused themselves, but they didn't see it that way. 15 was a problematic one for not simply bending to their will. I will myself to breathe in deeply before I even try to say anything. Despite what they've told me about FaZe, I don't know that I could trust Kairos. The story sounds real enough, but how can I know that Kairos didn't brainwash my brother? How do I know they're not just using him? I don't know about all of this. I don't know if I can just believe it. I should have known. You never can believe me, can't you? Even after all these years, would it kill you to take, my, take me at my word for once? Time and time again I tell you the truth, but you... No, Nish, this isn't about th that this time. Before you left, I was afraid of the truth. I didn't want to look at it, so it was easier to call you a liar. It's not like I don't want to believe you. I mean, I do, and I don't. If I'm honest, it makes more sense than anything. But FaZe is responsible for the safety of, of this entire country. They're at the helm of this world. This is... Things just can't be this black and white. Then what? What is it? I glance at Tempest out of the corner of my eye. She enforced him to be quietly watching our exchange. Well, to start with, everything you're saying is incredibly heavy. And you say FaZe is bad and that they did these horrible things. But how am I supposed to know that Kairos isn't the same? Or that this Project Lucifer was real? How am I supposed to know you're not just some brainwashed pawn right now? What? Are you serious, Michiko? I just want the truth, Nish. That is the truth. I don't know what else you want from me. Nish sighs and rubs his temples. Tell me, Michiko. Oh shit, she knows my name. Oh shit, Four knows my name. <laughs> oh shit. What do you think of FaZe? Tempress's sudden question throws me off, leaving me staring at her for a good moment. She called me Seven before, didn't she? What do I think of FaZe? Dude, she knows my name now. Rip. Yes, I'm sure you've seen enough to at least start farming an opinion around it. I mean, I don't like Dr. Park and I don't like Sergeant Rosk. I only like Dr. Sadiq. That's about it. <laughs> so what do you think? I wasn't expecting to be asked such a thing, so I take a second to think. I don't like the staff operatives either. I only like my team. That's about it. Face is an integral part of society. I'm not really sure what to think. I, I don't know what to think, to be honest. Would I really think of FaZe? The full answer feels too com complicated to grasp right now. But part of me thinks it's just my own feelings that are com complicating how I see things. To be honest, I'm not really sure. But I know that this team I'm on is full of good people fighting to protect others. Tempest sighs. So that's what you think. Tempest looks off into the distance somewhere towards the twinkling, twinkling lights and mingling people. Those people out there walking in the light safe and whole? They are never going to know what you've done for them in the dark. Whatever FaZe offers, it all comes at a great price. If people knew the truth, twisted and terrible as it is, they turn against the system in an instant. But the truth is harsh, cold, and ugly. That's why fools choose to stay fo fools. Ignorance is bliss after all. Her eyes snap back to me suddenly. And a hint of playfulness she might have had in her eyes before was now gone entirely. The way she looked at me made me feel oddly naked, like she could see right into my very soul. Face has many dark secrets, ones darker than you could possibly imagine. Tempest looks at Four. Why, Four knows plenty about the darkness in Faze. Don't you, Four? Even if I do, you seem to know too much. Take it as a gift from me. Some information you can bring back to dear old Faze. Tempest's attention shifts back to me. Ever heard of Project Ang Angmar? 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 
I have, but how does she know about it? She was part of it and she rebelled back. And she breathed, left, not reft. Four is right, she does know too much. How does Kairos have to have access to that kind of info? Base files make Kairos sound like a disorganized mess of rebels. So, how is it that they have all this top secret info? Because I believe the team of Kairos, the leaders of Kairos, were probably taken from phase and they left. Tempest chuckles. I'm guessing you have then. Does any of that change your mind at all? I really don't know, Nish. I thought I could convince you, but I guess not. I just have to see it for myself, Nish. You just can't tell me, because I'm a visual person. I need to see it for myself. Nish sighs. I hoped. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to be your enemy. Oh, brother. I love you very much. Don't worry. We're going to figure this out. I nod. Nish doesn't finish the sentence, but he doesn't need to. And I don't make him say it either. I just, I just need some time to process all of this. But please, Nish. Please understand that to me, you will always be my baby brother. Wow, this is really like my relationship with my brother. He will always be my baby brother. I call him my younger brother and people expect him to be like three or five. But literally, he's just one year younger than me. We should go now. Wait, how do I... I don't want to talk to my brother again. How do I contact you? I'll reach out to you. Don't trust me not to give... Don't trust me not... Uh, don't trust me not to give your info to FaZe. We don't trust FaZe not to get... Not to get it somehow anyway. It doesn't even matter if you want them to or not. I, I don't understand that sentence, but okay. I'll call you. I promise me, Chica. The two of them stand, and I think I... Think to call out to them again. To stop them from leaving. But I don't. I just sit there and watch my brother disappear into the darkness. There's a lot to think about, and I don't know if I can talk to Dr. Sadiq about it. I feel like I can trust her, but can the same be said about FaZe? I feel all these, so lost in my own mind that it just barely registers that I stood up. The exhaustion of another insanely long day with a roller coaster of emotion hits me full force. I feel Four's warm hand on the small of my back, urging me forward and guiding me through the lounge. He doesn't say anything, and I feel grateful. My cook quickly head back to phase as if nothing ever happened. No, and it ends! Oh, I was so over time anyway. It doesn't matter because it ended. To be continued. Um, chapter 4 is coming out in September. So, I was right about that. I thought it was already out. But, chapter 4 is coming out in September. I don't know when. Because it's only chapter 3 right now. I don't know when chapter 4 is coming out. Sometime in September. Oh my gosh. To TTEOTS. It's written around the assumption players will complete multiple replays. Why not go back and try all, the, all of the choices if you want more? Note, the Edge of the Sky is still in process of being developed by e Eon Dreams. Aeon? Eon? Dream Studios are released up dates to the game regularly, but we do not give out specific dates on anything we release currently. I mean, technically, yeah, I can keep playing and go through all the choices with zero and all that. But I'm going to stick to my choice. So that way you guys can just get the game for yourself. Premium, if you want the premium choices. I believe it's $9.99 for premium. Uh, USD, I don't know the tr translation prices for other countries. But. I don't know how to feel. Do we trust FaZe? Right now, I don't trust FaZe at all because of the way Dr. Park and um, uh, Sergeant Rosk treated us. Because they were, they're very intimidating. And she just sees us as statistics. And he just sees us as slaves. <laughs> so I don't know how to feel about them. And then now we know that they basically built Zero and Four in a way to be like these powerful warriors to only fight and that's it and not mess up <sighs> we also learned four's name is Jae Hyun um didn't see nine or three at all I could have sworn there was a CGR for nine I have to look through their twitter again unless it was like a fan made picture then that's a really good fan made picture but anyway this is it for chapter three we'll be back with chapter four five and six whenever it starts dropping but anyway thank you guys for watching today's episode stay beautiful i almost had a brain fart and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> Bamboo, then she's off, so she's off, so gay.
Okay.